very good afternoon my name is alok shrivastava and this is again one of the videos in those short and crisp series so we are just going to take a fast look into the linux process management and basically we will be focusing on what is the virtual memory size and what what is rss that is resident set size so these is the reason i have taken this is again it's one of those very common interview questions so let's try to understand i'm not going into much detail of the processes just wanted to tell you that whenever you uh, you are already comfortable with the like the process that any running application or anything which is consuming your cpu on your memory or your hard disk or your network activity is a process so there are certain things that i'm going to share with you so i i have this virtual machine again the same trusted virtual machine for me so let me see if some process is running i hope the apache is running here so if i give system ctl status httpd yeah this is running so i can use this for this purpose so the main pid is 1080 so you can also get it by i'll also share some couple of commands which you might be knowing earlier or they might be new to you but they are good so i can give a ps p command to find out the process like this you can give pid off and then the httpd you can also give it like this so it gives you all the processes which are associated with the process so the main process was 1080 if you still remember i'll give the command yeah the main process id was this so it then it have started certain other processes or the child processes you can see it here also and the same output is visible from this particular command so this is a command to find out all the processes which are associated with a particular process and there is one more very interesting command i personally like it to find out how long a process is running so there are the main processes 1080 i can use the option of e time it tells me how long it is running so it's it's running for 3 hours and 11 minutes in my case so you will be able to find out how long a process is running and you can also check the process hierarchy that is wonderful so you can give a ps hyphen hyphen forest option we don't have much forest left but still we'll use this and the process name is stdbd and then you can also use the options that what information you wanted to use so i, I write pid ppid and then the command right cmd so this is how it shows you in a hierarchy that the main process is 1080 which is the main like like process and these are all the child processes as i can see that it is being initiated by the parent process which is 1080 and obviously this one is being initiated by the system d so system d guys is the main process which control all other processes so if you had uh, gone through rscsa and rsc training you should be knowing these things now that is good that is fine i'm happy with that now let's understand what is virtual memory size and what is resident set size so that is the focus so I'll, i'm going back to my slide right so guys it's very simple stuff if i give this command before i jump onto it i can give you a very simple command i give a ps say i give this command options i want to know the pid i want to know the virtual memory size i want to know the resident memory size you can also wish to have the cpu how much cpu it's consuming and i can sort it in a particular manner so i sort it in the descending order of the resident set size i'm coming on to it what is rss this is not the same rss if you are from india uh, right so jokes apart so i do a pipe less here see here so it gives me the pid the virtual memory size resident set size and the percentage of cpu it's consuming but what the hell it is let's understand and if you notice here rss size is always slower or sorry smaller than the virtual memory size so let's understand i'm going back to my slides 
right so guys what happened whenever you start a process ah oh, these are wonderful illustrations as far as i think that so whenever you start a process you start a process or the kernel starts a process the process ask some memory from the operating system that i think i need this much of memory right so virtual memory size is the memory that a process can access this is the maximum a process can access these processes are greedy i'm tell you i'm telling you that so they always try to get a bigger chunk though they will never use it it's like humans right so suppose this process a has claimed that okay i need 1 gigabit of memory gigabyte of of memory or 1 gb but actually it is using only 500 mb so 1 gb is that he wanted to allocate for himself total allocated memory is the virtual memory size and what exactly or currently not exactly what currently it is using right now right is the rss resident set size so rss is the total memory allocated to process in the ram and guys it doesn't include shared memories it doesn't include heaps and stacks so that means if a process has allocated 1 gb of ram but currently it is using only 500 mb based on the load of the process right so that's why if i go back to this the rss is smaller than the virtual memory size so my process was was 1080 if i check it out here of 1080 let me see where it is i can do a grep also but it's fun to search not that much okay so i can do the pid is 1080 so let me just scroll down a bit either i am not able to see it i'll do a grab here i still hope the pid is 1080 yeah so i do a grab of 1080 that's it so when the apache has started it has it it ask it tells the operating system that i need this much of memory please allocate this to me but based on the current load on apache it is consuming this much right so that is the relationship between a virtual memory size which you will always see in the top command also if i run the top command here you will find it right virtual memory and the residents so if i do a a 1080 it's coming same and this much is the shared libraries so i'll be coming on to it right so once we start a process it claims to need that much of memory the bigger chunk but it is currently consuming a smaller area right that is the resident set size so in the same manner if you run multiple processes so multiple processes will be claiming their own virtual memory size but actually they are using is the rss right so since memory some part of the of the memory is shared right many processes may use some shared libraries so it can happen like this that these processes are using some shared libraries process a and process b so that is visible to us in the shared portion so in the case of httpd i am not able to see the http here but say in case of top command this is what it claims that i need currently it is using this much and this much is shared right so not because multiple processes can use the same shared memory so there is a one like very interesting thing if you add up all the shared memory if if i give the same command here if i give the same command 
So if you add up all the RSS, because the RSS includes the shared memory also, right? So you might find that the sum of all the RSS values might be bigger than the actual physical RAM in your machine, which is fine because multiple processes are using the same. So if say this process B is using 500 MB of shared uh, memory, so it is being uh, seen in this process information and the same 500 MB is being seen in this process information, right? So this is how the things works and you can get the information from the proc also as you know the proc is the live file system so the my process ID was 1080 so if I do a cat proc okay I'll do one thing I'll do one thing I'll open one more terminal that's the best way to do this in this I will be sticking to this and this is I should be finding here 1080 not able to find that's my problem I'm getting old yeah 1080 finally eventually right so this is 1516 15156 and so if you I'll move to root that's the best way to do the jobs and guys if I do a cat of proc that's how you can confirm it and the PID was 1080 and you do the status so you can see there the same values are coming up right the peak available the maximum available to this process the the process is stdpd the status is sleeping the main pid is this and the maximum which is available to this process is this much of, of memory which is the same value and currently it is using the 15156 right so you should understand the relationship between the VSZ virtual memory size and the RSS which is resident memory size ignore this yeah right so it might happen another thing that when the load increases on a process you might find that the RSS will increase but it but the virtual memory size or the VSZ will never increase so let's suppose currently the load on the process B is very less then suddenly a number of clients are using this process or whatever application it, it, uh, it is you might find that this get increased the RSS get increased or decreased based on the current load but the VSZ is never going to be changed it will always be static so I, I hope I was uh, able to successfully explain you the relationship between the VSZ the virtual memory size and the resident set size so keep learning keep learning new things keep learning out of the books the things which you will not generally find in the standard courseware and i'll see you again bye bye take care godspeed